Hello, my name is Eamon Kelly, and I'm going to guide you through the A-Level IT 9626-2017 March Paper 4, um, the graphic section, which is task 2. And I will be using Adobe Illustrator. Now, we will create a logo, something like you see on the screen here. Now, this is also suitable for people who are not doing the um, A-Level IT exam, um, as we cover a number of different skills, which um, are useful for anybody um, working with Adobe Illustrator or starting out with graphic graphics or graphics graphic design. Um, in this case here we'll be creating um, circles you, uh, using the properties transform values and we'll be um, adding color and borders using the fill and scope tools. We'll be um, joining the circles um, for the crown and then grouping it with the trunk. We'll use a curvature tool to create a tree trunk. Uh, we'll be adding text and curving it. We'll be saving the image as a vector graphics in a vectors graphics format such as SVG. Um, and we'll also be exporting it as a bitmap file such as JPEG or PNG. Now, like I recommend in some other videos, I suggest that students highlight the important points in the examination paper. So read the full section first of all, highlight the, uh, the important points, uh, just like I have done in the PDF here. What I do also as I'm highlighting these points, I also, by the recommendation, is to open a notepad to take some notes. So here we go, I've got some notes taken as I've uh, read through the paper. Again, often I have I type in text that I'll be using, and the useful thing about this here is I cut, can copy and paste this into my Illustrator file um, without any fear of having fonts or formats associated with them. Okay, so this is much much more useful than using a, um, a word processing application. Okay, let's look at the exam paper. So we're, we're asked to recreate this here. Here we're talking about three overlapping uh, light green circles, in this case here, with a brown tree trunk. Um, the circles should have a one-point black outline, uh, the top of the tree trunk behind the foliage, and we need to convert the uh, rectangle to curves and a flare at the bottom. We need to duplicate the uh, tree twice and arrange the trees just like in the image here. We need to create a path to position the, the, the woodlands text, but we must make sure that the path is not shown. The text here, both homes and woodlands, should be sans, oh no, um, the, the woodlands one should be sans serif font, and I suppose the, the homes one also. In the case of woodlands, it should be colored white also with a uh, one point black outline. We would add the homes text. We need to group the objects and resize the image to 250 pixels by 200 pixels wide. And save as a graphics, save as a vector graphics format. So here is the, 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 the name of your file. So you have woodlands, your center number and your candidate number. We need to take a screenshot of the dimensions of the image. And we also need to export it as a bitmap. OK. So as I say, I've taken some notes here. So first of all, the width and the height is here. I'm going to uh, choose the canvas. I'm going to put a, a, create a canvas of this size from the very beginning. You could leave this to the end as well if you like. OK, in here. When you open Adobe Illustrator, you might have a screen something like this here. You have different options. I'm going to go to the print option here, and I'm going to choose A4. And over on the right-hand side, I have different options. Um, millimeters, I'm going to go down to pixels. And right here, it's 250. So the 250 by 200. And create. Now you see at the moment, this is at the top is not responding. This is not unusual. I might just take a, a few seconds. I'm going to go here to and fit all in window. I like to center myself. This is a really useful fit. view, fit all in window. What I'm going to do, because it can happen with Illustrator or some of these files that they may crash. So I'm going to go and save the file straight away. Control C. File, save as, 
control V. I also need to show you here as well. I have created the folder already with exam center number and candidate number. So you'll be given a, 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 a folder name here and you need to add your center number and candidate number. So I'm going to put this in here. All my files are going to go in here and click OK. Straight away, I need to go and create my circle. So over on the left-hand side, click on the Rectangle tool. I need to do the Ellipse tool. And I'm going to use, as I said already, I'm going to use the, the values. Now over the right-hand side, you can see these as well, but I'm going to put in here 45, or maybe put in 50. Control C, Control D. Okay, over the right hand side under properties, I'm clicking on the on the circle at the moment. I've got 50 by 50 here. If I'm not happy with this, or it's not large enough, it's too large, then I can go in here and change these quite easily. Now we're asked that this circle um, is light green with a one point border. So I'm going to go into on the right hand side, I'm going to click on fill. And I'm going to choose um, a light green. Now, I wouldn't spend too long on an exam finding an exact green. I'm just going to do a little bit here, but I wouldn't spend too long on this. Back over here. The stroke is already one point, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to move this slightly. Next, I'm going to Control C to copy this here, and Control V. Um, I'm taking the selection tool, moving this into place here. I'm going to control V again for another one. And move this into place here. To go and compare this to, okay. Okay, I'm going to click on this one here. And on the right hand side, I want to move this to the back. So on the right hand side, properties down to arrange. I click on this and I send backwards. Next, I'm going to select all of them together. And I want to go to Properties, Pathfinder, and you see here, to Unite, and you see what happens. OK, I'm going to compare that again with the exam paper. It changes slightly. I could go in and start, uh, I could ungroup them, but instead I'm going to just move this around a little bit to the top. So I'm clicking on the selection, and I'm going to move this bounding box slightly. OK, I'm quite happy with that. Also using the left arrow key, I'm moving to the left. Next, next I'm going to create my trunk. So I've got the left hand side, rectangle tool. I'm going to go to the right hand side properties. I'm going to go to the fill. Click on the swatch. I'm going to click a brown, maybe a darker brown. Okay. They don't tell us if it has a stroke, so I'm just going to make this a little bit less than this already than one point. Maybe just this one here. And I'm going to create my rectangle. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to move this into place first of all. On the right hand side, again, I'm going to go to properties, arrange. I want to move this behind. So send backwards. OK, I'm going to the left hand side. I'm now going to click on the curvature tool. So on the left hand side, the curvature tool. At the very bottom, I'm going to change it slightly. And on the left hand side, see the midpoint here? Left hand side, I'm going to move this, curve this in a little bit. I'm working with the mouse, which I think is a better idea than working with the touchpad. So it can be a little bit tricky. Okay. Click on the selection tool. Let's compare this with the... Okay, I'm going to make the trunk a little bit. Click on the trunk again. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. This here. Next. 
I'm asked to, if I'm correct, I'm asked to group these together. Duplicate, okay. Okay, so I'm going to select all. And over to the properties, we see the right hand side, quick actions down the bottom right, group. And these have been grouped together. Now I'm going to move this up slightly. I'm going to Control C to copy it and Control V to create another one. I'm going to move that up slightly. It's going to be a bit higher than the others. I'm going to create Control V again for another one. Okay. Next, I'm going to press in the middle one. Um, properties. Arrange and send backwards. Let's compare this with the exam paper. Okay, I think it's looking quite good. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to try typing woodlands on this here because it can get a little bit difficult. Um, I'm going to create another layer. So I'm going to layers. I'm going to rename the first layer to trees. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to create a new layer. And the new layer should be for the text woodlands. Click on the, that layer. I'm asked to use a path, so I'm going to use this here. Now this can be a bit tricky, so it might take me more, it might take me a few times to get this right. And I see the fill has come in as well. I'm going to go to properties on the right hand side. I don't want any fill, so appearance, I want no fill. All I want is the path. Even the stroke, I can click on the stroke. I don't want any stroke, even though that will disappear anyway. I'm also going to use the curvature tool. To, let's see if this works for me. I want to click on this here. No, no, maybe a little bit. I'm moving this slightly. Okay. I'm going to go back over to the path, go to the curvature. I'm going to round this slightly. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to still with the curvature and on the top one, I'm going to round this slightly as well. And over to the left side, I'm going to around this slightly. Now I'm going to select, go to the left to select the selection tool. So I've got my bounding box around it. I think I'm going to move this down a little bit. Now I need to go to my text tool and see, can I write on this line here? So go to my text tool and I click on the text and I type on path to. So I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to click somewhere here. You must click on a noun. Okay. Try that again. Okay. And I need to type in word woodlands. And I have it written in here already, so I'm actually going to just copy it and paste it over here. Control V. Now this looks much smaller, but we also know that the woodlands, it should be in white. They don't tell us how large with a black outline is also um, sans serif. So choosing, you still in the text tool on my left hand side, I'm going to select the word. I'm going over to the right hand side and going down to points and I'm going to make this much larger, up to 26, 31. That maybe looks, maybe looks a little bit too big, but I'm also going to change this here to Arial. This one here, I need a the fill is going to be white, and the stroke is going to be black, and it should be one point, okay. Okay, this actually is working better than I expected. I'm going to go over to the selection tool because I'm going to move this, maybe, no, before I do that, I'm still on the text, so I'm going to select that again. 
I go into the right hand side properties and I'm going down here. I want to put a little bit of space in between the letters, which should also have fill 25, maybe 50. Okay, there's a bit of space in between the letters. Go back over to the selection tool. I'm going to the bounding box, I'm going to move it down a little bit. I can also, using the bounding box, I can on the right hand side you might see that I'm just turning this slightly. And I'm quite happy with this here. Just on that, I'll just click on the, uh, the selection tool again. And remember, you have the bounding box here, so you need to get familiar with using this here and also moving this. I can also, if I wanted to, to make it larger, see on the left hand side, I can do this and so on. Okay, I'm happy with that. Good. Next, I'm going to go back to my layer. And I'm going to lock my layer. But having said that, I could also actually put the text in down here from the other one. But maybe I'll just create a new, I'll create a new layer. So this is with home. Over to my text tool. I'm just going to type, I'm going to type, go to properties, it's far too much smaller. I'm going to go to 18 or 14, I'm going to type home. Area 14. Let's compare that with the with homes. Yes. I'm going to go to the left hand side and selection tool. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I could also click on the text tool again to select it. To make it a little larger to 80. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to center home, move home a little bit more. Clicking on this again, left arrow key to move it into place. Next. So the path isn't shown here. We have sans serif, color white. And the text tones are shown. Group the objects together. Okay, so I'm going to select all. Go to layers. Okay, so I selected all, con uh, control A, and the right hand side, I've unlocked the layers. And I'm going down to group. Okay. Next, I'm asked to save as a vector graphic, in a vector graphic format. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to save it as it is at the moment, so as a Illustrator file, and then I'm also going to save it as because it's a vector graphic. I'm just going to save as I'm not exporting here. I'm inside in the uh, exam folder. I'm clicking on this. This here, I'm going to go to SVG, scalable vector graphic, and save. And click OK. Place a screenshot showing the dimensions, so we could. Go into our folder, our exam folder, and here you take a screenshot of this here. Next, we're asked to export it as a bitmap. So we can choose either to so export, export as, I'm putting the exam folder, as a PNG, right? or I could also choose something else. I could choose um, JPEG. I'm going to leave with PNG and export. And OK. And let's go into our folder again. And we see our two files. OK. And if we click on the, the SVG file, this should open in a browser. Okay, here it doesn't look so good. So ideally, I should go back in and, and do a little bit of work on this here. 
Okay. So, recommendations. Create a folder for your exam files. Save your Illustrator file from the very beginning. Take one or two minutes to decide on the fastest approach to completing the task. And just remember when you're watching this video, you may want to try this more than once. It's a good idea to try these things a couple of times. Sometimes um, creating the circles, um, the text can get a little bit tricky. So go back, go, going back and repeating it or even finding a different way of doing it is a good idea. Thank you very much. My name is Eamon Gavi.